Recycling centers, that's where Assemblyman Doss Williams wants to see batteries end up. Batteries are not supposed to go in the landfill. They're not supposed to go in the trash. Um, uh, a lot of people, some people know they're not supposed to go in the trash, but they don't know what, what to do with them. That's why Assemblyman Williams has authored AB 2284. The goal is to make sure that people know where they can dispose of their batteries and to provide them with good opportunities to properly um, dispose of them, recycle them essentially. We feel like there needs to be more work done on ensuring that the public uh, has those opportunities to recycle their batteries. And uh, the best, most effective model to do that is a producer responsibility model, which says that you as the battery manufacturer, you have a, a responsibility of that battery after you sell it, which is to make sure that, that people have a good place to dispose of it. Assembly Bill 2284 would create a statewide product stewardship program for non-rechargeable batteries sold in California. The objective is to make recycling convenient for the public for a product banned from disposal and used widely in homes. At this point, it is thought, even though batteries um, are not supposed to be thrown away, that only 5% of batteries are properly recycled or disposed of. According to a California report, more than 150 million batteries are sold each year in this state. Considering the extremely low rate of batteries being recycled, local governments and taxpayers pay up to $2,700 per ton, amounting to tens of millions of dollars each year to accomplish a very low recycling rate. There are places that people can take batteries. In every community, you can call your city or county. But that costs money. And guess what? We're all paying for it. And the reality is the producer has some responsibility to pay for it, too, along with you and me. A study by UC Berkeley in 2012 concluded if all alkaline batteries were recycled, the state would save over 1,300 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions, making it much easier for the state to meet the goals set up by AB 32, the California Global Warming Solutions Act. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.